Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Borderwise and welcome back to From the Depths for some more totally scientific, not just for giggles, combat testing. Honest, cross my fingers, cross my heart, hope to die, get a cherry pie in my eye. But anyway, so um, just for giggles, this one genuinely is for giggles, uh, science talk aside. Um, the other day I pulled something out of the Funcraft folder. Uh, the number 500, the 500 meter long, entirely wooden canoe, which I made for giggles some time ago. I do a lot of things for giggles. Laughing is good for you, it's the best medicine. Um, and put her against uh, the Tungsten Slung, my most recent battleship. And despite initial testing, uh, or rather the first failed recording of the thing uh, showing otherwise, uh, the Tungsten Slung uh, rocked the socks of the number 500, which is... Jolly good, and a relief, frankly, because this thing is not serious, as you can tell by the big smile on her face. Um, so yeah, so I, out of sheer curiosity, wanted to see what would happen uh, in a matchup between uh, the number 500 and the good old Titan Slung, who uh, is on a little bit of a losing streak at the moment, or at least it feels like it, um, because Gmodism's Gimlay rocked her socks. So I think she needs a break. And, uh, of course, the way I'm going to give her a break is by having a triple 500mm uh, cannon spit shells at her like crazy. So, uh, without further ado, let's see how these two get on. My money is on T. Starly for this one. Also, no laser defense on the number 500. Important to note. Also, I forgot about the missiles. I always forget about the missiles. Let's see what that cram shell does. It looks like it's gonna miss, and these are hollow point crams, which is perfect for dealing with something like this. Of course, if it misses, uh, that uh, is a bit of a difference, isn't it? It looks like they're pretty even at the moment, and that is going to make a huge mess. Oh, dearie me. Yep, that's what... Uh, that just took out an ammo compartment, by the looks of it. And uh, let's see what this does. These are big kinetic missiles. Uh, that look like pencils because that's funny. Oh dear, that that APS is no joke. Whoa, that cram! Ca Whoa, easy no. Yeah, so this is a kind of a typical matchup with the number five hundred. Is like, uh, let's see, like <laughs> it's just going off the turrets one by one. Oh lordy, this is a fun fight. Uh, what's this gonna do? That's going to... Jeez, man. Whoa, look at that! That was cool! Just how the damage, the thump damage propagated. There, there goes another ammo compartment, I guess. Wow. Yeah, look at that. It's so cool. It's. Uh, I'm so glad I did this. Look how that damage propagates. That's cool diamond shapes. And here comes another one. Whee! I wonder where this is going. It's ouch. Well, that's block spam turret for you. Turret's damage not out yet. But those sh that might be one of the nastiest guns I've ever made. It's certainly one of the biggest. Jeez. Like, for those of you who don't know, um, actually the canoe copter is just... Where is it? It's just over there doing its thing. Uh, so yeah, this is a... This is a Hesh Heat Frag H-E-E-M-P shell. Very, very nasty indeed. And the canoe copter is actually surviving quite well, which is kind of funny. Whoa, yeah, number 500 just lost a huge amount of health again. Canoe copter is getting slowly cooked. And wham! Maybe hollow point wasn't the best uh, thing against this, uh, this very spongy craft. Uh-oh. Oh, the fire rate of the main gun has dropped down considerably. Wait, what the... That was weird! Let's follow this over there. And the cram has missed. 
Well, the Titan Song is having to earn her fight. By the way, chucking the number 500 against the Gimli, I don't think is going to end very well. My goodness, ouch. Ouch, 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 ouch. And the gun's still firing. It's just so big. Yeah. <laughs> and the canoe copter is still there, providing moral support. Oh, boy. There's that one intact cram still doing its thing. Whee! I just wanted to watch hollow point crams, like, do work. There goes the ammo compartment again. I'm surprised that didn't get destroyed more quickly, honestly. Ah! Uh, maybe the key to beating the Gimli is just making the number 500 again, but more serious, so to speak. Wah! Keep clicking on the wrong th Oh, the... <laughs> Here's the canoe copter. Hello! How are you doing? <laughs> I do like the canoe copter, though. It's probably one of the most aesthetically pleasing helicopters I've ever made. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, dear. Can I follow this cram shell? Yes, I can. Oh, I wonder where this is going. Right to the engine compa- Oh, my- It's interesting how that thump damage propagates. It, like, it follows the length of the beams. Fascinating. Whee! That missed. That missed horribly. Oh, is this gonna miss horribly? Yeah, nope. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, goodness me. Well, half a kilometer of canoe. She's still smiling, though, and that's the key um, to doing well, is have a positive attitude, even when uh, doom crams are hitting you square in the face. Like this one, for instance. Is that going to hit? Nope, it isn't. It is not going to hit at all. Mm. That one's also going to miss. Come on now, lads. You gotta do better than that. This is why we play From the Depths. Just to watch big ships shoot each other. Uh... Oh, you missed again, you fool. We... I just like looking at the number five. The number 500's just fun. It's fun to watch it win. It's fun to watch it lose. It's fun to just watch it go. It just does that. Also, it kind of wants to be an airship spiritually because of the propellers. You missed, you fool. There we go. You've disintegrated the turret. You should have done that much earlier, gal. I'm actually kind of tempted to uh, swap out the shells on the number 500 for AP Frag, just to see how it does. Probably, po quite possibly, could do much better. Oh, look at her. Look at her disintegrate. Ever seen a canoe this big disintegrate? No, you haven't. This is the biggest canoe. Actually, no, it isn't. I think people have made bigger ones. Someone commented the other, uh, the other day, actually, asking, like, do you ever build anything out of the canoes? I do! I swear I do! Like, the canoe copter over there, which admittedly is not named in a way that lends itself to uh, supporting my argument, but yeah. And the tungsten slum. That's technically not a canoe. The part of the problem is, is that the basic canoe shape is also kind of just how ships are shaped. You know, pointy at both ends for hydrodynamic efficiency. Oh, uh, boy. So yeah, when the... the we're definitely gonna have a round two of that because like no i don't care who wins they're both my craft i just want to actually i would get if the number 500 won i would be really pissed off because <laughs> i spent a lot more time and a lot more effort on the titan slung uh, than i did on the number 500 i can tell you that oh boy oh dear poor 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 
pour some sugar on me. And finally the canoe copter gets to die slightly. There you go. There you go. Wow, this is the first like combat test I've done where the canoe copter has uh, outlived uh, has outlived the number 500. Did I stick timed fuse? I think I did stick timed fuses uh, on T Stali Mark II. All right, so that was a pretty decisive victory for um, uh, for T Stali. Uh, thank goodness, because can you imagine if she'd lost? I would have. I would have cried. I would have absolutely cried. Silly 500 meter long wooden stick uh, beats my prized battleship. Even though I built the wooden stick, so... Yeah. And I built the wooden stick after uh, the uh, after I built the time slung, so... There you go. Advances in technology. Reject modernity. Uh, return to canoe. Let's start round two. That rhymed. Let's see if T. Starley has learned her lesson and actually aims for the turret first time. And that right there is why in certain circumstances, um, Hollow Point is better than AP because uh, she nicked the tail and took the whole anus off the number 500, whereas an AP shell would have just overpinned. So yeah, that is the thing. Ouch. That looked painful. Yep, right in the lambs. Ouchie, ouchie, ouchie. So immediately, T. Starley in the lead. Oh, that EMP. Those EMP shells, man. They hurt. They hurt a lot. Oh, but I think this hollow point's gonna hurt a lot more. Whee! Oh. Whoopsie daisy, main turret almost turned off. What just exploded? Oh, ammo compartment. You know, as you do. And this is why you can't gamble on just one big turret usually, because, uh, that's bad. That's not redundant. Damn it, I want to lock onto those 500mm shells. Okay, come on. Here we go. Whee! Let's see what happens. Wait, no. Let's go back over here. Let's see what happens here. <laughs> I'm just going back. I'm just following the shells back and forth. Whee! Hollow point cram shell. Does hollow point cram shell things. Where's the second one? Oh, it missed. Oh, but this one won't. And... Splat. Splat kablooey. That's why I like that 180 degree frag these days, because as you can see, the fragments are kind of spraying everywhere and poking holes in the essential systems all the time. Please do not ask me to make a number 1000, uh, which will be a canoe that is 1000 meters long, because I will cry and my PC will cry. And now that I've said that, somebody is going to ask me to do that. And all I can say is, how dare you? How dare you ask that thing which I mentioned? How dare you let me put the idea in your head? How dare. Woo, baby! <laughs> it's, I, I find it so cool how in this structural arrangement, how when the hollow point hits, it makes that kind of diamond-shaped wound. I love that. I love that. It's so cool. It's so cool. I wonder if it does that because, like, the thump damage fo follows the origin points of the blocks. And so, I don't know if that's useful knowledge, I just think it's kind of cool. Hollow point cram does hollow point things. <laughs> oh no, that, that's, now that is a gap-toothed smile. Look at that, you can see the gun in there doing work still. And a few gauge increases got taken out. 
Is there a cram shell on the way? Yes, there is, and it's actually amazing. The missiles are still firing. These huge missiles right here. Uh, they're not firing for much longer, though. Whee! This is fun. Oh yeah, I forgot to show off in this video. There is a snake on the front, and there is a dancing anime girl on the snake, just because. Pause. And... Let's see what this does. Does magnificent things. Wow, that turret is hanging on by a thread. By an absolute thread it is hanging on. It still is kind of wacky that uh, something made of wood can last even this long against, you know, kind of an over-engineered, overthought thing like the Titan's Lion. And overthought and over-engineered is not a compliment. I think I, I thought myself in circles of making that damn thing. It turns out all I needed to do was just make a really big canoe. I'm kind of tempted to like um, swap the. Uh, the material on the... what do you call it? On the number 500 for alloy and then to do this fight again just to see what happens. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. I might just do that, actually. I might just do that. Because that's easy. That's fun and easy and cool. It would be way more expensive, though. Like, impressively more expensive. Now we wait. We wait for... Look at all the damage here. I freaking love cram cannons, man. I'm starting to think I'm not the best at using them, but uh, I still love them. I love them to bits. And really, the the T-Stalys crams... Thinking back, I could have done a better job. When I first built those crams, I was of the idea that there's only, you know, you might as well just have only one firing piece uh, to get as big a cram as possible. I have since learned, I have learned better. I have learned that redundancy is a good idea. I've learned that you essentially get free packing per firing piece. So, yeah, if I was to redo something like the Titan Slung, I would have multi-barrel turrets. Two, at least. I might just do that, you know, for fun, for giggles. Make a Mark III Titan Slung with double turrets and better armor on the turrets. Combination hollow point and AP. Because that's smirt. Ah, dear. Poor number 500. She's just a fun punching bag. Oh, hello! <laughs> there you are! Oh, no. Oh. One last hug. One last little hug. I didn't know that was a thing. I guess when the ACB was uh, taken out, um, it just triggered um, the canoe copter to come back. Oh, poor canoe copter. Once again, you've seen your big friend get absolutely murked. Destroyed. Yay. Well, that, well, that's, that's it. To the surprise of probably no one, uh, t Starly won that one. So. Hello, are you going to disintegrate? Yes, you are. There you go. So t Starly can, at the very least, uh, beat a wooden canoe that is uh, smaller and cheaper than her. Uh, that is, uh, I guess that's good news. So. Uh, thank you for indulging me for this uh, self-indulgent uh, scientific silliness. And thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Support me on Patreon or YouTube membership if you like. It really helps and there's fun perks in it for you. Thank you to all my current supporters and I will see you next time in From the Depths. Farewell.